Hi, my name is Sarah Reisler, and this is my confirmation verse. John 15, 18 through 19. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Jesus spoke these words the same night he and the disciples shared the Last Supper. After he had given them the instructions for the sacrament of Holy Communion, he went on to tell them many things about what was about to happen to him and what the disciples would be prepared to face. Jesus knew that he was about to be betrayed and taken into custody by people who wanted to kill him. He reminded the disciples that if they believed in him, they would be with him in heaven for eternity. He also warned them that the same people who wanted to kill him, Jesus would also hate them and attack the disciples because they followed Jesus. Later in the same chapter, Jesus told the disciples that he would have the Father send them a helper, the Spirit of Truth, after he was gone. This was a reference to the Trinity, God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and how all the parts of God work together to help and support those who believe in him. My confirmation verse reminds us that as baptized Christians, we are no longer part of this world. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus has rescued us from our sins and has asked God to send us the Holy Spirit to help us. Because we believe in Jesus, we are destined for heaven and God does not consider us part of this world anymore. The rest of the world is still dead in their sin and doesn't know God the way we do. People who do not believe in Jesus see us as different and hate us for it. Their pride keeps them from believing that what they are doing or thinking is wrong, and instead, they attack anyone who refuses to join them. Christians aren't perfect, but we know that we have the Bible, prayer, and the Holy Spirit to help guide us to make cho choices that would be pleasing to God. As Christians, we just need to remember that even though the world is sinful and full of conflict, Jesus has saved us from our sins, and that is the best gift we can ever receive. He promises to come back and take uh, those that believe in him with him to heaven and free us from this evil, hateful world. This verse is special to me because life hasn't been easy. School is very stressful and it's hard to make friends. I am not comfortable talking to new people when I, and when I'm around people I know, I am not afraid to speak my mind and I refuse to go along with things that I know are not pleasing to God just to fit in. When I try to talk about God and my beliefs, it drives people away. Other times, even when I don't say anything, I find myself surrounded by selfish people who are focused on superficial things and show no compassion to others. This leads me to think about how cruel the world can be. One of the only things that comforts me is, no is knowing God's promise that in my beliefs, Jesus' death and resurrection gives me the gift of eternal life in heaven with him and that God loves and accepts me just as I am. I know that I can always turn to God and he will always be with me. As I move on to high school, I hope to find more kids who share my faith and become friends with them. I think that having the friendship of other Christian students will help me have a better school experience and give me more peace than dealing with the kids who just want to attack and hurt people who aren't like them. I know that this world will never be perfect, but I look forward to spending eternity in heaven with my perfect friend, Jesus.